Welcome back, everybody. Thank you again for joining us. I know we're a little fuzzy. Ah, wonder why. Uh, wonder why. Oh, no, don't worry. I'll tell them. <laughs> Uh, if you also the last episode... I just saw Ryan's reel about it, too, yeah. on our Instagram. Fuck face here. Broke the camera. Try, try to, uh, you know, try to do a show here, and the camera won't work, because fuck face broke it. So, I was trying to hit the pinata. So, great job. The pinata went out of control. And we still have the pinata. Uh, pinata. Pinata. The pinata? Uh, yeah. Pinata. We still got the Miata in the garage. And the Miata. And, so, yeah. So... Hope you like it, enjoy it, you get a close-up on this. <laughs> yeah. You're welcome, ladies. You're welcome. So, uh, yeah, there you have it. So, we're going to be, ch it's going to be a little different for a while, okay? Just I a mean, moment. I mean, we're going to get a new camera. We obviously. might. I don't know. We might like this. Well, yeah. I kind of like it, it's but, you know, right. it is what right. it is. We'll so, see what you think. You know, great, great job. Yeah. So, thank you. I know. Well, whether you like it or not, it's like one of those things that just seems to be happening. And speaking of which, I, uh... Started to see a lot of things come across my uh, news feeds slightly on uh, social medias, and I had no idea anything was even going on about it. Was all of a sudden I was just seeing all these posts about you know my body, my choice, and you know the hands off my uterus, and I'm like, oh shit! So I've been preaching right, that for years. What, what something's do you mean? going on with abortion. You know what I mean? So yeah. then I had to look it up. What was happening currently, and apparently that they're they're trying to push to overturn. Uh, Roe v. Wade, which apparently the way that everybody is behaving is eventually going to happen. Um, are you familiar with the case? Roe yeah. V. Wade? Yeah. Like, so, so from what I, so from what I gather, it so it's the the decision comes up in about June or July is when they have to okay. vote on this, and it was a leaked memo or just a leaked thing that said that. This is how the Supreme Court is feeling. So right now, nothing's changed. Right, but nothing's... this is what it seems. Right, no one's really budging here. Right. Kind of. Okay. So it's just something that leaked, and and it's not. It wasn't a definite answer. I it, didn't was just, okay. it was just like, hey, all the Supreme Court justices are feeling this way, so they're going to overturn it. And um, the the. Black judge, well, I forgot his Clarence name. Thomas. Clarence Thomas. He was the one that said, you know, that not only did he say that the leak was, you know, scummy to be, to even do that, yeah, but it could change, like because they're looking at, like, you know, it's not right. Due. It's an argument. It, right. It's an argument because I did. I had to then, you know, delve back into it. So if you're un, oh, I keep. I did look at the tripod. He was right. Okay. So if you're unfamiliar with Roe v. Wade. It's so in 1973, basically the Supreme Court ruling that the Constitution of the U.S. And by the way, we realize that predominantly our viewership is male, but for the, you know, the, we see that little pie chart, that 24, 25% of females, I'm sure there's nothing you enjoy more than another show of just Abortion. men talking about it. Um, but you might be surprised in what we have to say. Uh, Supreme Court ruling that the Constitution of the U.S. protects a pregnant woman's liberty to choose to have an abortion without excessive government restriction. Now, one of these justices was Justice uh, Samuel Alito, mm -hmm. who was appointed during uh, George W. Bush, mm -hmm. uh, says, and I quote from him, Roe was egregiously wrong from the start. Roe expressed the feeling that the 14th Amendment was the provision that did the work, but its message seemed to be that the abortion right could be found somewhere in the Constitution and that specifying its exact location was not of paramount importance. He's, basically, his argument is like, nowhere in the Constitution does it say the word abortion, so... But then yeah. I was like, all right, so what was their point with the 14th Amendment? Because the 14th Amendment basically was... Uh, granting equal uh, citizenship for African Americans and emancipated slaves after the Civil War. Right. That's how it started. Yeah. Um, but it states, no state shall make or enforce any law which shall abridge or shorten the privileges or immunities of citizens of the U.S., nor shall any state deprive any person of life, liberty, or property without due process of law, nor deny to any person within its jurisdiction, the equal protection of the laws. So yes, in 1868, that was, you know, when the 14th Amendment was brought into play and was ratified by those states. Although I think what Mississippi was like a 
couple years ago, uh, they finally did it. Like, it never went through. And it was yeah. Link, uh, right. Spielberg's movie, yeah. Lincoln, like, that you know, brought just, that to light. They're yeah. just sort of like, oh, we'll just... Yeah, we'll... we'll no one's going to notice. We'll do it tomorrow. Yeah, you and wonder they, why they never... Yeah. You, know, you wonder why they never put the paperwork through. Just saying. <laughs> just saying. Think about where it is. Um, but basically, the argument is that... And I have it here. That was from Politico. But this one is from uh, NBC Chicago. Because you might wonder then, what does it have to do with Roe v. Wade? If that's what the initial thing was. But if you look at that statement about it shouldn't abridge the privileges or immunities of citizens of the U.S. So, uh, it's basically including the right to privacy. Ultimately, is what it is, is what it's right. stating. So the right to privacy um, goes into the woman's right to choose, and that is what basically ended up being passed. So this Samuel Alito's argument is just being like, "Well, you just use that to say we're included here," and I can kind of see how they're included there. But okay, so. It, here, here's my thing on it. First of all, it's not like they made this decision and it's finalized. Then I could, you know, it's just like not yet, but it, it's just a, you know, a thought, you know, whatever. First of all, I think it was leaked on purpose to distract us from other issues that's currently happening because this is a big hot topic, right? Right, it's a hot topic. We're, we're not talking about. Uh, gas prices anymore we're not hey we quit talking about ukraine and russia that's still going on yeah. uh we don't want to talk about nancy pelosi taking a trip to ukraine uh yeah you did no i i Just do remember that pretty, from the drinking pretty, game pretty odd but um when you brought up nancy pelosi i'm like oh the f-bombs are really gonna and, drop now in ukraine inflation things of that nature right this is a distraction because this is a hot topic and, and, and look, everyone's eating it up. Apparently, there's supposed to be some sort of food shortage that we're on the brink of as well. Well, swan, uh, there's a bird flu coming because right. uh, f- farmers are having to kill tons of chickens. Do you th- Okay, so... So I right, heard let, that. Let's say... Right. No, yes, because they, they... What was it? I, for the Timberwolves? I, I think that the, the owner of some basketball team, they, he's got women, like, super gluing themselves... To the three-point line and handcuffing themselves to the, because he had to put down all these chickens. He had to cull, basically, the majority of his chickens. It's like, wouldn't you think he'd be happier to keep them alive? Because that's, you know, he's making money off of that. Right. Like, he's basically having to lay waste to potential profit. Like, you think uh, he's having a good time about yeah. that? I mean, uh, it's uh, a necessity, kind of like abortion in some cases yeah in most but, cases but, in my opinion ju- just the fact that it leaked it'd be one mm. thing if they made this decision then we can mean, start yeah. but it was leaked I-, I believe it was done on purpose. you think it, no i see what you mean so it okay from what you're saying you leak it out basically to do all you, this it's a stuff hot topic. right it is a hot topic to keep people's minds off of the things that still set aside like you said june july they're gonna it's gonna get put through right. do you think that that's gonna hold or do you think being overturned. Let okay. So before I answer that, let me let me set something here. Like when it comes to abortion, I'm literally straight down the middle. I I see both sides of it, and, and let me explain. Okay. So I'll let you go first. So I can. And I'm going to try to take the... I understand the religious religious side to it. I'm going to just take... I don't. It, I'm going to take that out to it. I'm just going to put that... Take it to the side. Okay. I'm just looking at it as a person. People. Emotions. Humans, right. Okay. So, my thing is this. I think people, uh, especially women, should have the choice to get an abortion if it's situational. Meaning if they got raped... Um, if, okay, if so can, rape, harm, incest, right? If it, it could, could kill them right. or, or so, so, something like that, I can see that. Okay. Um, another thing, and I don't. And a mean, lot of places under that religious law will not let that happen, even if that's the well, case, because they, yeah. Jesus loves the little children. Well, here, here's my. 
So remember, like, especially like in middle school, we would have those kids, like, in wheelchairs, and, you know, they couldn't really, like, talk or anything. Like uh, There was a kid with Tourette's. Well, once. there were some times, in, like, in my middle school, we, there was, like, a bunch of those kids who could, weren't, you know. Oh, weren't, in high school, yes. Yeah, yeah, or whatever. They just I saw could, that they more were in just, high school, not so much. Yeah. That, you know, with technology, you know, I, you know, when they say, oh, life is precious, I feel like. Is it really? They're suffering because they can't live a life. They can't communicate. They can't, like, so, you know what I mean? When you see shit like that. Would you really think, like, I mean, but how would you know they're really suffering? No, well, you can. Because in their head, they could just maintain the innocence of a child, maybe, perhaps, throughout the but entire you, but sense. How can you live Although a the life? wheelchair is a bit different. No, but how can you live like, a life? They can't drive. Well, a lot they of people can't talk. still. No, not, no, 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 no. I'm not talking about just any hand. Oh, okay. Person. You mean like I'm really? Talking, uh, I, I can't. We can't. Detrimental. See right. I'm talking about yes. like can't even communicate, move that sort of gotcha. thing. Gotcha. Um, and we can, you know, situation like that. I I think you should have the option to, you know, ab- you know, abort. However, I don't agree that you know you should use that as a. Um, you know, form of birth control where, you know, you're just going to keep aborting out babies. I don't think you should wait eight, eight and a half months and then go, eh, you know what, I'm just going to, you know, get rid of it. I don't agree with that either, you know. Okay, like, well, think about a situational thing there. There's two people that are together. Uh, she gets pregnant. They're eight months along. All of a sudden, she finds out he's banging her sister. Oh, shit. And then he ups and leaves and everything and just denies the... Ch- and he just skips town. He's out of there. She's just left with... The- I'd fucking kill it. <laughs> wow. I'd be a horrible woman. <clears throat> Look. Whatever. Look. Here, here, here's why I feel... If you got it for eight months, though, chances are you probably would keep it if you kept it for that but long, I, but I I'm would saying why, think. But that shouldn't be a thing where, why are you waiting eight, nine months, uh, you know, to, like... Well, they're that, only giving you 15, like, they're, it's really weird, like... I think it should be more than 15 Right, weeks. I don't get the science behind when it's a viable, like, human being capable of living outside the womb because even like the, you know the preemies that are born have to be in that incubator for x amount of time just fighting for their lives all right you know I, I, the hypocrisy that i see behind it is why i feel like and because i don't feel like that people get this imagination not so much you i know you're using it as an example but a lot of people really do feel like that like women are getting pregnant and then at five six seven months down the road they're like Whoa! Like, let's just flush that one. Woo! I love well, killing babies. I'm not saying that that's Anytime every fucking, woman and no. it's common, but... But that 1%, you know what? Okay. It's in you. But you didn't... But the woman doesn't make it by herself. No. Uh, it takes two. True. And so you want to go into, like, the notion of parents' rights at that point? Like, should, should it be an equal say? Dave Chappelle made a point like that. If you can abort him, like, I'll let you have it. Anytime you want, you can abort him. But the trade-off being that I can at least abandon this motherfucker if I don't want him and you want to keep him. Like, if it's the other way around, until he's 18. Like, you ain't got me for child support. Like, that's it. If you didn't want to keep it, but she did. I thought that was a decent point. Right. The other way around. Like, if she wanted to keep it, but you, as a man, wanted to abort it. So, okay. It's her body, her choice. Right. Okay. I ain't yeah, paying. It is well, yeah. It is her body, her choice. But first of That's, all, first of all, I find it funny. Trade, right? I find it funny because during the vaccines, I said my body, my choice, and guess what? No one fucking cared. You asked if I said that to my doctor when I was. I was like, no. That's so the mantra for I, I, well, <laughs> women's well, reproductive why the fuck rights. Not? Well, you know. Right, but and isn't that interesting too? That the very same people, and I'm talking to you. I want to say liberals. I'm an old, I feel like I'm a liberal libertarian, like an old school liberal. Right. Within reason. But I'll let you do, like, yeah. It, it, you're not just going out and killing, ba- like I said, they're not just doing it for the fuck of it. But you, you were all ready to just be down with a forced mandate for an experimental drug right. for the populace. All under the guise of safety, which you and I still to this day 
are unvaccinated to COVID. Still alive. You still haven't gotten it, for fuck's sake. Yeah. CNN said I should have been dead because I'm overweight. No I got problems. it and survived. Still Whatever. There. Yeah. Yeah, and if you got it twice, right? Or once? Once. Twice, the second times, time was because I, I had a know. fever, so I went and got tested, but it was negative. He sneezes. He thinks he's got COVID. Like, I can't I can't keep track of this guy. So I was around you, and I didn't catch it. I'm just saying. You guys, you guys got to understand that this... that recent argument was about bodily autonomy right. and now we're going back into it on the spin side where the people that were on the right being like my body my choice which at first i found hilarious for them to even choose to be that arrogant to use that mantra right. considering that they've been shitting all over this position for a long time ever since roe v wade and 73 passed um to go ahead and say oh my body my choice if i want to wear a mask or get a thing okay so why are you not voting along with it? All right. There, there are laws in Michigan since the 1930s um, that the doctor will uh, basically go to life in prison if they perform an abortion after 15 weeks. Texas now has that law. Um, I don't remember since when. They've adopted it, but Michigan's had it since the 30s. So do you think states should just choose their... Cho- make- each state should have its own laws on it. Isn't it interesting that the 14th Amendment is making us talk about states' rights again? It's the same asking. argument just... from slavery. Okay, well, all right. Then I'll extend an olive branch. You're a gun guy, right? Yeah. Now I guess they'll know what it's like to be a gun owner. Well, there's two... When there's different laws in different yeah, states, and yeah, you, gotta, you exactly, know what I mean? Yeah, like, exactly. That's all I'm saying. So, okay, maybe they'll get a little bit of a taste of that reality kind of a thing. But a lot of people beforehand were even skipping, skipping country into Canada to get cheaper medicines and things of that nature. So people are going to do that no matter what the situation is. So, and not like only I said, that, but think... as a liberal libertarian, I think you should be allowed to have... You want to have a fucking safe full of guns? Have at it, dude. Good for you. Right. As long as you're have fun. Good. You want to grow weed? That's great. You want to have gay marriage? Fantastic. I really don't care. Do you want to abort your kid because it's the? You're not financially ready for it. You're not emotionally ready. For it. Even for those reasons, I'm still kind of okay with it. Well, and probably because I, I the majority is within me, I'd be like. Yeah, we should probably get rid no, of it. No, like, I'm 31, but, well, and when people, st- my friends still tell me, they're like, oh, my God, we're pregnant. I'm like, wait, what are you going to do? Wait, oh, my God. See, that's, yeah. that's, where, that's where you lose me, because I can't, I can't, I cannot accept that you're going to abort the baby because it was a mistake, uh, financial issues or whatever. We all know what happens when you have sex, right? Like, yeah. Unprotected hey, sex, right? I'm okay, still so, batting a thousand, huh, though. So huh, hey. Well, huh, huh, I'm saying is we all. My mom would love for an accidental child, but guess what? I'd probably take it out. So okay, but what I'm saying is, if she gave me the green light. I'd be like, dunk it, girl. Yeah, I'm sorry. See, Go ahead. But what I'm saying is that I just had a fucking brain fart. I'm just gonna be honest. I'm sorry. With you. I kept going because you're just like I know here. What I'm saying is, I am losing my fucking thought. You <laughs> fucked me up. Jeez. Just like I fucked up the camera. Unbelievable. My thing is... I am is, a detriment to this show. My thing is this. That we all know what happens when you have unprotected sex, right? Orgasms. Right. No. Well, we know how babies are made. Okay? Lots. And you're just going to abort it no, because... No, I just like another... Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I need some love No, no, you don't. Uh, all right. You're not at the fucking corner bar, okay? Let's let's just calm down a bit. Not yet. So that okay. So what I'm saying is, we all know how babies are made, and a lot of these women don't want to take birth control for whatever fucking reason, and you know the other stuff. Then you got to make your man wear fucking condoms, and then. You know, but if you're just going to have unprotected sex and you're going to let a man nut in you, okay? You're yeah, going to let out, that, guys. But Come on. Huh, if you're going to let that happen and but you're just going to abort it because uh, oh, well, I don't really like that guy or I can't financially afford it. You I, that I can't get behind. And then that's when I'm going with the common birth con- you're making it a form of birth control. Let's just fucking keep hey, I bought it. plan B for a couple of people. That's fine. Before. Do that. But why, okay. why, why are you going to, you know, wait 
a couple months and I go, yeah, you know, I'm just going to abort it now. I really don't like the guy and well, should have protected sex. Louis C.K. made the point even like you can kill someone if they're in your house. Like there's a person inside of you. Like you should. But okay. it's your body first. Sorry. That's the fact. This chicken came two. before the egg. But it takes two. The, the man, you didn't, the woman didn't just make the baby. It, it had help with all right, the guy. All right, so you're, okay, I'm, all right, I'm understanding. Your point basically is of equal rights and decision making between the man and the woman. Right. Now, how much of a shit show is it going to become if they disagree? That's what this is. And I, and I thought about it. Then I guess what? Is there. Like, uh, I kind of side with her, man. I know that's fucked up. Okay. So. In your mind, but like. I, okay, okay, okay. So, I just. There's too many people on the planet. I'm going. Listen, there are some people that you're like. They love they these kids, aborted. these unborn children until they're born. And then they're like, get to work, you fucking leech. We don't have money for this or that or this or that. You know, they had. Was it the good liars? Now, this would be like a satirical left wing. Uh, news show if Matthew and I ran a satirical left wing like they're just doing it to be obnoxious and they went up to a bunch of older women that had uh, signs in support of the pro-life stance uh, at these protests uh, basically encouraging people to adopt mm -hmm. so they went up to each one of these people and asked them how many children they've adopted guess how many out of all of them fucking none it's too expensive, dude. Yeah, Ooh, dude, it's too expensive to have the fucking kid. Give me the abortion. And you know what? A lot of those abortions won't even be covered by their own private insurance. But you would You're footing the fucking bill. A lot of you out there love someone in your life that has had an abortion, whether you know about it or not. And you don't think that was the most difficult and harrowing decision that... And I'm not saying that it's just a walk in the fucking park. You got to go down to the place. More often than not, there's people with these signs hooting and hollering, basically making you feel like you're a piece of shit. They're super emotional because the, because the hormone balance is insane now because it's being shared between... It's but just... You have, you're exhausted. But then have safe sex and you wouldn't have to go through this bullshit. Right? It's There's preventative okay. ways. You don't want, like, that's what I'm science saying. Science has now, okay, science has now gotten to a point where the preventative ways have meant that, like, you could do all the enjoyable stuff and then just toss the bathwater out with the baby, so to speak. Yeah. That's I know it's it, the other way but, around. Okay. So, like, okay, and I, I'm just, I'm going to be fully honest and transparent here because this is why I feel passionate about, especially why I feel passionate that I think men should also have a say in the matter when it comes to abortions because they it takes two. I, I hate to say that. Then be fucking careful of who you hook up with then. You, you know? Or have unprotected sex then with. I'm just saying. Okay. So my thing is this. So with my ex, okay, she, well, she didn't have an abortion, but she had uh, she had a miscarriage. We, uh, six weeks and she had a miscarriage and so and we and we both talked about how if she it, let's just say she didn't have a miscarriage and she you know was keep you know progressing it would she keep it abort it whatever okay um you know we had that talk just in case because you know i mean she was pregnant for six weeks i mean you know take that for whatever it is but my thing would be that personally I would want to keep it. I, I, you know, I would like to be a father one day. I, now it wasn't intentional, but you know, I roll the dice, whatever. Who gives a fuck? But that's that's me. However, if she was pregnant, whatever, and then just had an abortion without confronting me and just doing it for whatever reason, that I'm not cool with. I think that's kind of fucked up. Because you're you're both you're both a part of it. I know, but there's so many things that we're. That, I understand that both this. people are a part of that. I get are not having to do with that. That spouses and significant others make those decisions for the two of them. But even just hookups, then you got to be more careful. Then who who you're fucking? Yeah, but how, yeah, it's it's very difficult to know that. So why shouldn't the option be made available and? Then if you don't want kids, then why don't you just get a vasectomy then? I'm down for that, actually. Okay. 
But I'm just, I'm just saying. That's a good point. It's preventative. I like that. It's preventative. Give a little snip, right? It's preventative. You're so. Where's the mail? But they, they were starting with that, with the mail birth control. Yeah. What's well, up with that? I used to ask that when I was in middle school. I'd be like, well, why don't they just so make they mail have, birth control? Because guys would take it consistently. I doubt it. I know dudes that fucking I mean, trim their shit up just in case, you know, if a surprise blowjob, bro. Like, Well, that's, yes. I okay. Mean, I mean, so why would you never know? You got to Okay. Be, so if you can never you know, you're going to hook up. Why wouldn't you give your, eat a pill or take a shot or have, whatever? You can have a condom on you. Yeah. Yeah. Or if she's been around, she can have a bowl of condoms, and then you just pick out, you know, pick out your size. Like the free clinic. You know, but there's there's multiple ways. And listen, I'm not saying a woman should be forced to take birth. If she doesn't want to do it, she doesn't right, have to. Right, because that throws their but then, hormones but out then, of But then, if you're getting fucking, they're cream going through pie, a lot just to do that for their man. You know what I mean? So I have to, if. I'm never going to be, and you and I will never going to be able to understand what that, I don't know. That whole process. Like, if I, f- I would be thinking of fucking alien the whole time. Like, they're still just going to do, 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 like. You can, you can tell. It's fucking bananas, But I'm saying, man. from a girl's perspective, if you're, if you know, if the dude doesn't look like he's got his shit together, but you just want to fuck him, Okay. Just have him put a condom on. Like, I, like, again, yeah, I, but guys like, do we shit. Back in fifth yeah, but guys day, fucking like, do shit. You're in the middle of it, and then all of a sudden you fucking slip. Take, take plan B. Amazon selling it. Buy it. Buy the fucking case. I mean, and come maybe on. they didn't know. We're not back in fucking middle There's school. There's all kinds of different circumstances that we're not going to be able to foresee that could be complete accidents. They're inebriated. It's a well, right. But yeah, and if the guy if the guy doesn't want the kid and he just want to be the father, uh, you know, okay, then he doesn't have a say. Then you're then you're completely. You got to wait for the man's permission. I wouldn't say that. That's what it sounded like. No, I didn't okay. say wait for the man, but like when it's time to discuss it and he doesn't want to be part of it, then, you know, whatever. Then you got the green light. That's still kind of... Uh, I know. I mean, I'm sorry, man. I'm know. not trying to make that I, sound terrible. I'm just trying to understand it. I don't... Yeah, I'm just sort of... Yeah. I, Meanwhile, one of the funniest couples costumes I've ever seen was a chick that was really super pregnant, probably like seven, eight months, and she did her belly... Like with baseball painted, it looked like a giant baseball. Yeah, and he was a baseball player with a bat. Love it. I l- listen, and I also get the argument that you know you don't want the what you don't want the government to control what you do. And specifically, in my opinion, Have, this type of idea is not from where you're coming from. Like how you said, I'm gonna put the religious shit aside. Right, I'm not going that I, route. Hundred percent. These, this is the religious right doing their fucking shit, saying it's all about life and God and this and that. Like I said before, there's too many fucking people on the planet. Also, think about the people. Let's, let's do what China's doing. Let, let me go ahead and just rattle off some people that probably should have been aborted. Let's start with uh, Adolf Hitler. Should have been aborted. Um, Was there abortion? Kim Jong-il, they, Kim Jong-un. Sure, abortion? yeah. Did You're basically creating idea? back alley abortions again because women are going to do this shit whether you think it or not. There are laws against drugs. Well, I still see the it. fucking crackhead well, at 7-Eleven, well, well, no well, matter what. Well, right, that's Just what I'm saying. money for it. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, uh, yeah, even, even, so fucking a. even if, they, if they overruled it, you people are still going to get abortions. Right. It, it may not be. It, it might be worse because you're not going to a, a you know a, a family. Clinic Richard Ramirez should have been aborted. You're going to go in the back of some dude's van. John Wayne Gacy go, should have been aborted. Yeah. But you can't. I mean, Ted listen, Bundy should have been aborted. You can't tell if a person's going to be evil or not. No. There's no. There's no like. Hey, j- just a heads up. Yeah, maybe if that was available, then a few of these fuck nuts wouldn't that, have been that, running you know, wild. Who knows? Maybe Elon Musk should fucking invent that. Instead of fucking building these electric cars, maybe build something that says, hey, listen, your child's going to kill a lot of fucking people when he's older. That's cool. That's like some Black Mirror right? shit. Like, like, that's like an episode out of Black Mirror. Like, she's fuck, pregnant, fuck and t- here's a device that will allow you to see what this person is going to be. What kind of traits? Does, does he have evil traits? Is he, I'm just saying. 
Stop building the fucking cars and the fucking storage unit. As one, long as one. they don't experience horrible violence or sexual um, uh, trauma as children, they probably won't grow up to be like that. But right, well, you know, listen. Part it's of genes. The, they're like of, light switches. Not that just turn genes, on and off. but how they were raised by the parents. Well, yeah. It, 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 and those interactions, you take how you react to things, how you react to outside stimuli is also genes turning on and off. That is programming you from a young, right? Uh, from a young standpoint. So, and then let's uh, then let's look at this argument. Let's just say that the government goes, the the Supreme Court overrules it, right? Then what else are they going to tell you? You can't, they cannot. You, do? you know what I would do if they overruled it? If I was a chick, and I got pregnant. Actually, at this point, you know what I mean? I wouldn't see it so far fetched. The vagina hats and everything like that, I wouldn't see this as being so far fetched. And I would probably be. No, the they only of- wear that when Trump was president. They're not wearing it now. I haven't <laughs> seen pussy hats marching down the street. But when Trump. You want to take people seriously. But when yeah, Trump pussy said, hat, you know, he can like, grab oh, the ball. Oh, I get what well, you're he, saying. I'm but, just saying. I like the hypocrisy. I get what, what you're saying, shit. but the pussy hat makes you look ridiculous. So if you want to be taken seriously, drop the hat. So they've learned. But. If I was a woman and I got pregnant and this got overruled, I would do it out of spite. I guarantee you because I know my – I would just fucking get pregnant and then go – Once you're like – That's re- fucked up. No, I can't. No, that's once you're really up. showing, go out to the bar and just start fucking slugging yeah. them and smoking. That's fucked. Yeah. I'm, I'm not down with that. that <laughs> I'm sorry. That's so fucked I'm up. Sorry. I'm that sorry. really is. I'm but, sorry. See, but when you do that, that's when you get the kid that goes to school who can't fucking do anything in life – and then what happens when the parents pa- pass? Who, who's going to take care of them? Should have been aborted. <laughs> or wear a fucking condom. Like, again. Or take the fucking pill. So what it adds five pounds on? <laughs> We're all fucking fat anyway. What does it matter? <laughs> like, honestly. Unless if you're going to the gym every day, what the fuck does it matter? I'm just saying. But I, I, like, I, like, I just love how this we're going to fucking fight over. But a drug... Um, that has never been tested, and they're like, hey, you're forced to take it. We're all cool with it. Well, that's what I mean. It's just, the, it's just, the right and the left have, have contradicted themselves well, not just in that. this entire process. Well, no, the right goes goes on the religious, hard religious aspect of it. They, they, of course. They're not, they're yeah, not that's speaking. a fail-safe. Let me, let me, my imaginary friend says this, that, and the other. and that. Like I said, when you politicize religious beliefs and it starts to become a law where it's affecting people on this type of a scale, I have a problem with that. Whether it's this or whether it's smashing planes into buildings, which, you know, I mean, jet fuel doesn't melt steel beams, so we'll, we'll hash that out on another day. Is this, and, and correct me if I'm wrong or, or if I'm accused, Roe versus, is this a, this is a law, right? Like right now, Roe versus Wade, what is it? It is it is legal under the 14th Amendment. It was a case, it's basically the precedent, like. So is there other stuff that, that you There was plan, Planned Parenthood versus Casey in 92 or 93. So all those like cases, right? They these review, are just the cases they review yearly, right? And how they, well, I I don't know if they review them yearly, like how or if often? somebody all of a sudden is just like, you know what? Let me like how you said, let's just do this because this is the hot point that's going to distract people from that real quick, like how Ukraine distracted us from the fact that COVID just fucking disappear all the mandates come right Everybody's but, blah, 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 blah. and then now ukraine and russia has kind of disappeared because you know will smith slapped chris rock at the oscars and then elon just, musk bought twitter so then you know abortions are going to become illegal again and you know and you know hey and you know I'm living in your walls, man. And uh, <laughs> I will tell you, if you go work just, for Tesla, they will pay for your abortion. So heads up on that. So you know, hey, just saying. Keep um, Elon Musk. It, I, so like, okay, so that would be an interesting thing. Like, how often do they review these cases? That's true. I didn't look. I didn't really. Look and and I just didn't think about it until today. And again, like, what made. What, like what happened that would the Supreme, yeah we're gonna spark this now that Sup- no no that the Supreme that the Supreme Court would even think about overturning it like I like what what is there like something big happening that they're like yeah we need to put an end to like I, I don't really know 
I don't really What's, know either. So to me, it seems fishy. That's why it goes back to nothing really sparked of abortion until this leaked thing. Right, like I said, it I hadn't seen it until it on my newsfeed. Yeah, and and no, and nothing's coming out. Like the Supreme Court isn't coming out. Like, oh yeah, we're like they're they're just like listen, things can like they're dismissive about it. Right, but nothing's been voted on it yet. We're kind of jumping the gun early on it. And again, I didn't see anything up to this point to where it's like why we're having this talk. Like, right? You know it just kind of came out of left it's field. Just like, yeah. And that's what I'm saying. It's just the whole thing's odd. And I don't know. I th- I think you should just leave it, right? Yeah, I, I would leave, leave it, it the way it is. I wouldn't overturn just it. Just leave it. I'm not. You know. I don't think you should. You know. Get overturn it. I think it should be because it hasn't been all right. Currently, it hasn't been overturned, and I'm not seeing all these stories about like wild women just getting abortions after five, six. But woohoo! I mean, I would like to see the. But again, yes, I, said, I don't see should, that. Well, they should have the option. I don't see that. Right, but they. I mean, or is it like an abortion's at an all time high, and you're like, oh, we gotta, we gotta overturn that. I mean, I don't know. I understand, but again, it should be situational. Most people, I think, like I said, I've been batting a fucking thousand. Most people that are, they're doing all the ridiculous things. They're like, I'm going to eat, a bu-, like, she's going to eat a bunch of this food because apparently it's good for fertility. And I'm going to eat a bunch of this food because apparently it's good for virility and fertility. Listen, I see people. And then we're going to be in this position. And then after we're done, she's going to do the. You're flexible. You know, she's going to just try and use gravity to get that thing in there. And then even then, sometimes it doesn't fucking work. I've seen people who shouldn't be having kids have lots of kids. Hell yeah. Dude, okay, my family. Perfect example. There's four of us. And only one turned out right. Brian. Brian, yeah. It's actually Matthew. Um, well, Matthew's gonna, he's gonna be fucking rich, like smart rich. Dude, like, for real. He's gonna, he's, he's like an Elon Musk. He's Elon something. part two. Right. But Ryan, Ryan, they turned out good. You? Uh, hey, yes. You know. <laughs> but. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I they can't all be zingers. I don't know. I, like I said, I get both sides. It should be a choice. I think a man should, it shouldn't be right, but they should have some say in it too, if you do decide. Like, again, should just be aborting it willy-nilly. I agree. Have like I said, I sense. agree with the Chappelle method. You want to abort him? Whenever you want? Right. That's fine. Without my decision? Okay. But if that's the case and that's what we're going to go with, then the woman that uses that to trap a man, he can use that same thing to say, I don't, and I'm out. And just, now, the interesting part, like, but that's what I mean. That's going to have to be the trade-off. And just think of so all you're gonna the, have to eat it as a dude and, if she wants to kill it and you don't. And think and think of all the shady shit that that would happen if it was overturned, like all the shit. Like you no. know, there's gonna be a black, there'll be a black market for it. There'll be right. you know, like I said, you're gonna so, go to back alley abortions. The wire hangers are gonna be coming out. Right. I mean, so, I, I'm gonna start a service where I just come over and kick you. It's, I'll it's throw you down some fucking <laughs> stairs, like you know, whatever. I'm just That's saying. like that meme with Lois. Uh, from Family Guy, and it's like right when I see the the pregnancy test, like say it's positive, it's like Lois like flying off the top of the staircase. You know, I I wish I wish the people had this kind of anger and outlook when it came to vac injecting untested vaccines with you. Well, I guess we don't care. Well, like I said, that's what's this, interesting about this is it seems that the right and the left are contradicting themselves simultaneously. Y'all, I can't understand any of you now. I think it's I think it's something shady. I, th- I, right. I think it's a distraction. I agree with you. That's this what I mean. This is weird. Like, it's... Now that you mention it like that, I didn't even think about it that way. I just thought, I'm like, oh my God, they're doing it. But now you're putting it all out there like, all right, so what was the reason that right. we started this? Because it's, it's, it's random. It's coming out of fucking nowhere. It's, and yeah. they're going after it and they're getting all these women hyped up over... So what are they distracting them from? Of what real of the shit that's real, like the shit that I mentioned earlier, so, and that's some of it. That's not even all of it. That's just some of it. That's just some of it. I so, mean, but hey, listen. Um, before we go, I just want to say that you know, in case um, you know, you missed it. There's a, a woman named Nina uh, Jankowitz or whatever. I don't know. Uh, 
She works for the Department of Homeland Security. They now have a disinformation unit. So when you're looking up this abortion stuff, don't listen. Believe everything you read because any disinformation... Just because it's soap doesn't mean it's clean. Any disinformation will be overlooked by her and she will pull it. Um, so she's a professional fact checker. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, and look you think because up. Elon Musk bought Twitter that that's why we're having uh, no she, I, the, the the misinformation it's just, no, are just, just hard sen- just more censorship. Think of the X file because it is uh, just more censorship. The, all these like terms now coming out. The first time I ever heard misinformation was watching the X Files, where uh, you know Mulder is basically trying to get his way into an area where he's really not having the clearance to, and he's kind of befuddled his way through there by fooling some people, and Scully calls him out on it when they're in private. Basically, so you lied. He goes, Scully, I would never lie. Yeah. I would, however, willfully campaign in misinformation, but I would never lie. It's it's a joke. That's the she, government's way of saying we lied. <laughs> misinformation. And, and listen, they're they're dictating what's information. Just because you know they're yeah. they're, they're it's exactly. just, they're ju- they're just censorship. People, we're turning into China. Okay, slowly but surely, we're going there. The but U.S. Hey, government is the greatest propagator of misinformation in history, I in hope, my opinion. I hope all of you that voted for Biden are, are just loving it. I hope you're all having a great fucking time. Um, because none of this shit was going on down Trump. Just saying, just throwing it out there. So. You know, Ugh. some people got to work fucking three jobs now just to fucking survive. I'm seeing a lot more fucking homeless people, people living in their cars. Go to any Walmart, dude. People are living in their cars like not like it, it's it, it's crazy. I'm seeing at least 20 cars to any Walmart I go to. Donald Trump is not the reason that anything was good or bad. You're right. Biden's it was not fucking the reason. Putin. That, it was Putin. It's not Putin. I'm sorry. It's not. I'm sorry. It's part of the fucking game, man. God whole, doesn't have a plan, but the they have a plan. Government, and it needs to be shut and down. And Trump was fucking part of it, dude. He's in on it. If you, you cannot convince me otherwise that he. Fucking, I don't think he's in on it, but he's a clown right now. And he's an ass clown altogether. But then they brought him in on it. How do I? How many times do I have to see the photo of him and Melania and Bill and Hillary standing side by side, going, eh, like, we're all buddies. No, I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, look, I'll go pull that up for be, you after the no, show. No, I know he used They're to be a Democrat. Yeah, I get no, it. No, not that he used to be a Democrat. And They're used to all fun all their friends. Campaigns. Yeah. Well, huh? That's my argument with with Republicans. This is why I don't play. Uh, re- right. Mid- the Mitch McConnells, uh, the uh, fucking whoop. Ted Cruz's, the fucking Mitt Romney, dog faced wife, all of them, bro. <laughs> Little They're Marco. All in on it. They just give you this false idea. So that, why that why options. is Trump so different to you? Then? Yeah, because none of, at least at that time our country was independent. We we weren't going through. Uh, we see. Were doing- I feel like he was placed like that to do that to get people on the right and guys like you jacked up about shit like this. To me, it's all well. No, that part nothing of the game. happened because no, nothing's changing. I don't see anyone jacked up. I'm just saying. You're pretty jacked up right now. I'm always jacked up. I have fucking, I have fucking <laughs> That's ten, a good point. That's I have a good fucking point. ten monsters right. in ten. I'm constantly jacked up. Like, I mean, I'm always on fucking edge. I'm just You saying. know, once they asked Steve Irwin if he drank coffee because he was always all, like, crazy. He's like, ah, oh, now my, my head would explode. Yeah. I, I, so, the end of the show, I, I don't think they're going to change it. I, really I hope don't. not. And I think this was leaked on purpose to distract you from other shit that's going on. Case, so, case closed. We've got homework. You've got homework. I'm pro choice. Will? I'm pro choice. Okay. Yeah. There we go. I'm pro choice. Right. So, see, ladies, the, the little smidgen of women that, are, that watch it, that see, we get it. We still somewhat still disagree, but you know what, man? I respect you. I respect you like a brother, and I love the shit out of you. Well, I'm glad someone does. And I have a good time doing this with you, man. Listen, I'm just glad that pe- people are here watching. So yeah. it, it keeps us going. So I mean, the Catholic Church wants more babies, so you know they can well, fuck listen, some young altar boys. And, and, we kind of want a little more babies so we can get and some I more tell subs. My mom all the time, <laughs> hey, I'm Catholic. We don't believe in condoms. Just saying. Yep, you got to so, be Protestant. That's right. Go watch Monty Python's Meaning of Life. <laughs> all right. Every sperm is sacred. Everybody have a <laughs> great day. What'd you say? Every sperm is sacred. <laughs>